Hey guys, welcome to my first ever podcast show. Episode one, anything and everything with my Hussein, with my first guest, Zara Sobe. Zara, how you doing? Good, really good. Really good. Why are you so good? Um, I don't know. I'm just so excited. Excited about the podcast? Yes. She's excited about the podcast, guys. This is awesome. A bit excited, a bit excited, and a bit happy. No, no, no. I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> so you're a bit excited, and, and you're happy. Nervous. Nervous. And you're, oh, you're feeling nervous. nervous. Why do you feel nervous? Um, because... I don't Cause, know. Because this is your first time doing this. This is my first time. This is my first time doing this, too. So don't worry. I'm nervous, too. Honestly, I'm so scared. Like, not scared, but nervous. So nervous. But honestly, I haven't felt that way from you since you've come on here. Um, You've been excited and jumping around like a monkey, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> so, so, Zara, yeah. I have some things that I want to talk to you about. Um, So, first of all, how old are you? I am six, turning seven in um, April 15th. Yep, that's, I know that. <laughs> so you're turning seven. How do you feel about that? I feel happy. You feel happy? You're getting older. You're, <laughs> you're getting close to the number 10. Those are two numbers, one and zero. Right now you only have one number. How does that make you feel? That makes me feel, I don't know how that makes me feel. Old? Does it make you feel old? Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> do you like my uh, podcast studio? Yeah, I love it, honestly. Do, do you know that you're my first guest on here? I'm your first guest. Ever. Ever? I've never had anybody in this room do an interview with me. Really? Yeah. So, uh, how do you like school? Um, I like it a lot. I like all my friends, my teacher. Do you only learn English at your school? Um, no, I learn French. You learn English and French at your school? Yeah, I mostly talk three languages. What three languages? Arabic, English, and French. A you bit. speak Arabic, English, and French? A bit of French. Tell me some words that you've learned in French. Um, I know how to say, can I go to the washroom, please? Uh, is, me, it, is it je m'appelle Maya? That means I am Maya. This, this means <laughs> I'm going to the wa washroom. Est-ce que je peux aller aux toilettes, s'il vous plaît? Try again. S'il vous plaît. Say it again, the whole thing. Est-ce que je peux aller aux toilettes, s'il vous plaît? And what did you just say? I said, can I go to the washroom, please? Give me a, give me a pound. You, you are really good. And this is, isn't this your first year in French school? Yes, it is. I've been at school for 115 days. 115 entire days. How do you know that? Because we have a calendar at school. It tells us, like, how much we've been at school Oh my for. goodness, Zara, you're smart. Uh, you are, you pay attention to that calendar, don't you, Zara? Zara, do you guys have special days at school? Um, yeah. Like, do you have a special day at school? Um, Is it like a Zara day? Where no. you get to bring, bring in something special? No, we just, so, so like, my teacher has a cup and it has like popsicle sticks in it. It says her name, she has to close her eyes, she has to pick one in five seconds. Oh, wow. And if she picks like a name, because I have a friend named like Carla. Yeah. If she says Carla, then she's this sp special person. So she stands up at the bo board and she like picks people to like do the calendar, like bring the stuff to them. Love it. I love that. And so you guys we do a don't... lot of fun stuff in class. Yeah. And today we even um made lines with paint, so we got like paint on our hands, like yeah. And then there was a plate, and we um had it to like not not lines, whatever we like, whatever animal we want on the paper. Yeah, and you got to draw draw it. Yeah, like we didn't do whatever animal we can do whatever I, we want, but I I just did Santa. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I know it's Santa. No, not Santa. Sorry, a bunny. A bunny. A, a bunny. You a bunny. you mistaken a bunny f- t- from Santa? <laughs> they look alike. <laughs> no. no, I messed up. I messed up. <laughs> it's okay. You know how many times I already messed up in this podcast? How so much? many times. <laughs> um, Zara, how many brothers and sisters do you have? I just have a brother. He's two and a half years old. Um, his name's Zane. His name is Zane, and you live with Mom or Baba. Um, yeah, Mom and Dad. Mom yeah. and Dad, and yeah. they both work. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what they do for work? Um, yeah, my dad is like a male guy. He like he's a mailman. Cool. And my mom, she just does normal work. <laughs> what kind of normal work? Like I don't know. Yeah. Like she goes to work. She like she writes like papers down. She writes papers down. Does she dress up for work? Um all in black every day. <laughs> Honestly, all I wear I all I see her wear is just black. Black all over it's her so body. True. She does only wear black. <laughs> You're right, Zara. Me you too. Yeah, You're me too. Black. I am wearing a little bit of color. <laughs> your shirt's black, your pants are black. How do you feel about having a brother? What is it like? It's like awesome. Why? Because he's just so cute. Yeah, does he does he bother you? Um, sometimes. Sometimes. But he also plays with you too. He also plays with me, yeah. It's nice to have a sibling too. This morning when I was going to school in the car, I was like Laying on his lap, and he his hand was over my head. She, he kissed my head, too. Oh, my gosh. That's why I love to have a sibling, because then you guys get to love each other and play with each other. He's, like, so cute. He's so cute. He's so funny. And he loves to dance and sing, and you do, too. Yep. Who else in the family loves to dance and sing? Um, My brother likes to dance and sing, and I like to dance and sing. What does Mama or Baba like to dance or sing? My mom doesn't sing. She sings like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> is that how she sings? Pretty what much. about Baba? Does he have a good voice? Oh, <laughs> they should never sing then. Never. Just you never. and Zane in the house and dance. Zane, he sings like la 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 la. la. <laughs> no phones allowed in class. No, no. <laughs> Are you a teacher now? <laughs> yeah. Zara, what do you want to be when you grow up? Oh, that's hard. Um, I don't know yet, but I'm thinking to be, like, a police officer. A police officer? Why do you want to be a police officer? So, like, I can save people from stuff. Like, cool. from robbers, like, stealing their money and stuff. Right, right. I definitely Breaking agree. into their house. Oh, yeah. 100%. I agree with you. Um... You would be a great police officer. Yep. Does Momo Baba know that you want to be a police officer? Um, I haven't told them. <laughs> How do you? What do you think they're going to say? What um, do you think they're going to say? I think they're going to say, you're not ready for that. <laughs> you're not ready for that. <laughs> you are the best, best guest ever. Do you know any, do you know any police officers? Um, I know one. Who? Um, she's a girl. Her name's Jenna. Jenna? You know another police officer. He's your cousin. Uh, Mo H. Yeah. Have you ever seen him wear his uniform? Yeah. And how, do, how um, does he look in his uniform? He looks good. <laughs> he looks good. <laughs> you look good, Mo. According to Zara. <laughs> okay. I like him. I like him wearing that. Yeah, it's, you it's like him? It's stylish. It's very stylish, 100%. What is your favorite place in the world? Um, my favorite place in the world is... It could be anywhere. Anywhere? Anywhere in the world. What's your favorite? I would say maybe, like, the mall. <laughs> the mall? Why the mall? Um, you can buy, like, clothes. You can, like, have food. There's food there. Yeah, they have everything. Honestly, they have... Like, literally, where else would you be? Um, they have... The, some, did you know that some malls, like in Edmonton, they have an ice rink? In the mall. They even have a hotel. Yo, you're joking. I'm not joking. In the Edmonton Mall. A hotel? A hotel. 
that makes me think about it. In two sleeps, I go into Windsor to go see like my cousin's hotel to swim there. There you go. To so sleep. that hotel has a swimming pool. Yeah. There you go. But it's indoor. It's inside. It's not even outside. No. This is a cool hotel. Because it's cold there. It's a bit cold. Yeah. There's I, a bit. Snow. I mean, it, it is winter time, right? There's yeah. a lot of snow outside. But in like, like um. Over there, it's like there's a like a little bit of snow. Yeah, Windsor doesn't have as much snow as we do. Mm-hmm. Here's another question. Oh, do you want some water? Uh-huh. Let's show them. Let's, break. Yeah, let's show them the cups. Thank you, Huda, for buying me these cups. Cheers. And it's even like the picture here from here. Yeah, it matches. Yeah. Tell me how the water tastes. It tastes what? Normal. Normal. That's good. What makes you happy? Um, maybe like spending time with family. That's so nice. What kind of things do you do with your family? How do you um, spend time with them? I just like snuggle with them, watch a movie with them. Yeah, that's true. I know that you guys do that a lot at home, and I love that. Aw, that makes me so happy that that's what makes you happy. Here's a big question. What's your favorite Arabi food? I would have to say fatayid. Fatayid. I love fatayid. So you like the spinach or the meat? Cheese. Oh, cheese fatayid. Mmm, I love it. Especially... You didn't even to... say cheese. I know, I didn't say cheese. I like cheese fatayat. I like spinach fatayat and I like meat fatayat. I like all of them, honestly. Yeah, honestly, me too. Like, it's so good. Who makes them? Um, my grandma. Your grandma? Tell me more about your grandma. Um, my grandma, she has, like, good cooking. I yeah, love she, it. Yeah, is she better than mama? No, they're both good. They're both honestly. the same. Honestly, I would say, like, my mom's, like, 10 out of 10. My grandma's 10 out of 10. Amazing, amazing. So does Mama cook a lot of Arabi foods at home? Um, yeah. You know what? I have seen Mama cook some Arabi food at home. You know, she's pretty good at it. But your grandma, she wakes up early and she starts cooking, doesn't she? Sometimes when she, like, doesn't want to cook, when there's, like, no one over and she's, like, not hungry, she sleeps in. Oh, she just sleeps in. Five hours. (laughs) Five hours. Do you love your grandma? I love her, honestly. Yeah? What do you like to do with your grandma? I like to just watch movies with her. She watches movies with you, too? Yeah. Yeah? What makes her happy? Um, The same thing that makes me happy. Snuggling. Spending time with the family. Spending right? time with um, my dad, because my dad's um, her um son yeah that's true yeah and and then you have your aunt samad and your your uncle samad right uh-huh yeah and that's her kids and my too. and the uncle samad um that's who i'm going um to their, i'm going to their house for windsor they have a hotel oh very nice so you're gonna hang it. out with medina and madia and malik and hamoudi that's so fun is Zayn going too? your brother um no, he's going. He's going. <laughs> he's not going. Why? He's gonna stay with my dad at home, and um, my brother's gonna go like um to his like, um when he goes to daycare, there's like he has a friend, so it's um his birthday, so he's going. Right. He's oh, going nice. To our birthday. Nice. Are you gonna be doing anything for your birthday? It's coming up soon. Yeah, I'm gonna. You know, Wednesday. What, yeah? Like the show Wednesday? Yeah. <laughs> you watch the show Wednesday? Yeah. <laughs> okay, what about it? You mean movie Wednesday. Oh, it's a movie? Is the theme Wednesday? Oh, that's I'm so I'm going to be dressed up as Wednesday. Oh, wow. And I'm going to have a Wednesday birthday cake that has a thing on it. Oh, okay. And okay. it says Wednesday and slash thing. Oh, wow. Okay, I love it. I love it. And are you going to invite your family? My family, my friends, my neighbors, my cousins. Yeah, we talked a little bit about your... Especially you. Yeah, 
I'm I'm your cousin, so obviously and I, I have also, to come. And I also said cousins. So I got to come. Yeah. So you want me there. Okay. We live really close to each other. <laughs> like how many minutes? Maybe like five minutes. Five minutes. How? Uh, what? Tell me a little about about Jiddo's family. What Jiddo? The your Jiddo, like Lena and everybody. Oh, that too. Um, they're good. I like them. Yeah, you go to their house a lot, don't a you? A lot, 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 lot. You? Why do you always go there so much? I don't know. My parents just go out a lot. <laughs> so they just drop you off there. Do you spend more time with Jiddu or do you spend time with Ahmed, Tara, or Lena? Which one? I don't hang out. Um, I just like, can we do like go there the most? You just go there the most. Yeah. Okay. I go to my grandpa's the most. Yeah, you do. You hang out with your Jiddu a lot. Yeah, but like I would say, no, no, not that. I, I um, stay at my house a lot. I I was born in the hospital. I came home and like I stayed there for a long time. So uh, I wouldn't say like I went there. Right. For so a long you were time. born. You went to the hospital. Then you went home, and sometimes you visit Judo and your Sito. Sometimes, not a lot, but I like I spend time like at home a lot. Yeah, yeah. You spend yeah. more time at home. Yeah. But you love hanging out with your Judo. Yeah. We need more water. Okay. It's a lot of talking, isn't it? Okay, here you go. What? Are you having fun? Yeah. <sighs> um, who's Lena? Um, Lena's my aunt. She used to teach. Now she's in a different school. Yeah. And my teacher knows her. Um, her. She knows her. Really? A lot of teachers know each other, right? Uh-huh. So your aunt and does supply teacher. Can I tell you my teacher's name? Yeah. Uh, my teacher's name is... Drum roll, please. Madame Jackson. Woo! And she is a nice teacher. Why do you love her so much? Um, Honestly, we do a lot of art. Yeah. And you love art. I love art. You hang up all your artwork all over the house. How does Mama feel about that? She's like, oh, she does too much art. Oh, my God. She sticks it on the walls, on, like, glass everywhere. So she's done with you doing she's that. She's done with me doing that. <laughs> I, I don't care. I'm going to keep doing it. <laughs> Why? Why? And can I get um a quick bath bathroom break? Yeah, hundred percent. You can have a bathroom break. <laughs> um, how's it like to have siblings for you this time? Since you oh, asked me. I guess you're asking me the questions. Yeah. What is it like to have siblings? Um. You, have... you know, growing up, me and my brother were really close. So you only have one sibling. I only have one brother. You know him, Abe. Abe. But a homie. Homie. <laughs> homie. <laughs> yeah. You know, as you grow older, sometimes either your siblings are going to stay close with you or they're not, right? Like, you know, he's close with me still. You know, he got married. He has responsibilities and a job. I know what you mean. Yeah. yeah. Do you know where he works? Um, no idea. Costco. What? <laughs> what would you do if you made the rules at home? Oh, I would, um, tell my kids. Oh, if, if you were married and had kids, okay. Yeah. And you were and, making rules. What would be the yeah. rules? I would tell them to go to their room and watch their iPad while I clean up. Why? Because they might be, like, too young to, like, clean up and stuff. Right. Right, okay. I would, I would like, have, like, a son that's, like, let's say, like, three years old, yeah, and I would name him Luke. If you had a son, you would name him Luke? Luke. But that's not a Arabi name. Then what should I name him? I don't know. What's a Arabi name? Hmm.
Ali. Ali is an Arabic name. There you go. Ali is a nice name. I like it. Here's another question. If you could have any superpower, what would it be? It would be super strength. Super strength. Why? Uh, or you know what? Maybe like flying or something. Why would you want flying? Because if like a wolf attacks me or something, I can just fly in the air and they can't. I know what you're talking about. Or if I like... When I was in Lebanon... I've had an animal attack me, and I wish... Because, <laughs> because... Okay, go ahead. <laughs> tell me a little bit more about your family. My family? Yeah, tell me more about your mom and your dad and your brother. Like how old they are or something? No, like just anything you want to talk about about anything? your family. Anything? Like if I'll you were going to tell people about your family? Each? Yeah, you could talk about them each. Um, My mom's 33. My dad's um 39. Wow, good job to know and, their ages. And I know my aunt's name. We were talking about like the first video. Yeah. Um, Lena, yeah, her. Um... She is 30 now. Yep. She her just turned 30. Like, her birthday was like a long time ago. It was about a month ago. Yeah, not that long, I wouldn't say. Yeah, yeah. She just turned 30. She when just... we turn 30, it's a big deal, right? Do you think Lena is the best? I wouldn't say like the best. Okay. The whole family is the best. The whole family is the best. So she's not the bestest. She's she not just, the bestest. Everybody's the best. Everybody. Of course. If I gave you a thousand dollars right now, what would I buy with it? What would you do with it? Um. What's the first thing you'll do if I give you a thousand dollars? The first thing, the first thing that comes up in my head with it. Yeah. Give it to another person, and they can spend it. I'll give it to a different, like, a stranger. If I gave you $1,000, you would give it to somebody else to spend? Yes. Why? Because I want to be nice. You want to be nice? Yeah. To give it to, like, people out there that don't have money and water and stuff. I'm about to cry. No. <laughs> yeah. No. I'm about to cry. No. Nope. That's so nice of you, Zara. Do you know that we need more people like you in the world? There's not a lot of people that will give up a thousand dollars to give to somebody else who needs it. Some people care about money, like money comes in, goes, right? You don't you don't you don't need to be happy to have a big mansion. Yeah. You don't need to be happy. No. What it, it's, what? Nor, it's normal to be happy, sad, mad, frustrated, frustrated, mad. The same thing. Yeah, all these feelings are normal. Yeah. But like you said, what's the thing that makes you happy? Spending time with your family. Exactly. And does that cost any money? No. No, it's free. It's free. Your parents are your parents. Your parents are your parents, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Zara said it here first. Well, 50 plus 50 is, so that makes me smarter. What is 50 plus 50? 100. 10 plus 10, 20. 20 plus 20, um, 20. I don't know. 20 plus 20 is? I think 40. Yep, 100%. And I like your bracelet. Oh, thank you. Did you make it? No, I got it from Africa, my bracelet. Africa? Yeah, I was in oh, Africa, remember? Right. Yeah. Uh, when she was in Africa, she touched the giraffe's tongue. I did touch the giraffe's tongue. She was like, she was like, she... You're going to show them? She, she's going to show you guys. Um, she, so there was a giraffe. She said, hi guys, right now I'm going to touch this giraffe's tongue. And then she touched her tongue. She was at the end. She was like, ah, ah. <laughs> I did. I sure did. What made you smile today? 
smile today. Yeah. What's something that you remember that made you smile today? Coming here. It made me smile. It made me happy. Coming here to my house? On to see our... you. You're so cute. Guess what? Guess what? what? Guess what made me happy today? What? You! <laughs> so we made each other happy. <laughs> That's so... Ex- that, that, that calls for a drink of water. Cheers. Cheers. This is good water. Do you know what's coming up? Yep. What? Is it Easter? No. It is coming up. But what's coming up for Muslims? Eid. Eid. But what do we do for 30 days for the whole month? Um, Some grown-ups fast. Yeah. And fast means... Like not eating for not thirty eating days. For thirty days. Good job. Zara, you're amazing. So it's Ramadan. Yeah, and and the kids out there, some people on Ramadan they give toys away on that day. Yeah, on Eid. Right? For like kids that don't have toys. Yeah. And some kids get new toys when they give it away to other toys. When they give it away to other toys, you get more presents. 100%. Sometimes we give away our stuff that we maybe played with it, and they're still good condition, and we give it to other people, right? Once, um, this girl, she was walking, no, when I was driving once, there was, like, this girl, she was sitting down, and she had, like, a bag, she only had water. With her dad, so um, so we so um, I got like my big like I have like a big LOL thing. It's like a big LOL house. Yeah. I put it back in the box. I cleaned it all up. Um, I closed it with tape again, and then me and my mom went like, I gave it to her. You gave it to her. I gave it to her. And how did that make you feel when you gave her something that was yours? Okay, let me tell you something. This is not true, but this is not true. But I'm just saying I would do this. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> so it, it's in your imagination. It's in my imagination. You have an amazing imagination. <laughs> I love it. You're so cute, Zara. Do you fast during Ramadan? Um. No. No. I think it's. I want to fast. You want to. For like maybe like three days, maybe three days. Three so days. you're still young. I'm still young. So like you're only you're I'm turning just saying seven. When I like, I'm just saying. So when I like, maybe like twenty or something. Yeah, I think you start when you're th- about thirteen, fourteen years old. Yeah, is when you'll start fasting, and you won't you won't get to drink water either. I won't. And when you grow up. So I gotta drink lots of, I gotta, not lots of water, a bit of water. I gotta eat a lot. From what time to what time are you not supposed to eat? Um, uh, Do you know? Is it 5, 2 or something? Like So from when the sun rises, we can't eat or drink until the sun is gone and sets. What about breakfast? Well, you got to wake up early before the sun comes out. You got to wake up really early. I'm not fasting. You're not fasting yet. You're still... I don't, don't want to fast when they grow up. Why? It's actually it's really fun. It's hard. It's hard at first, but then it gets my, easy. No, but what about when my stomach hurts? If, you're st- if, if your stomach is hurting, then you'll eat. But if you feel like you can't handle it. What if I can't hold out? If, if, if you can hold on until... Some people some people that are 10 years old fast. You're yeah, joking. I'm not joking. There's some people that are 10 years old that are fasting. But you fast when you're ready, right? So inshallah, maybe by when you're 14 years old, you'll start fasting. Uh, maybe I'll fast when I'm 14, but I was thinking I can fast when I'm... 18. Yeah, inshallah. Do you... Do you inshallah, know, yes. <clears throat> thank yeah. you. Inshallah. You like that word, huh? Uh-huh. What does inshallah mean? Um, It means 
maybe like maybe in soon. Maybe in soon. That's if, what if, I say. Like maybe yeah. in soon. Sometimes soon. Sometimes. Yeah. Maybe. If Allah if Allah wants it to happen, then it will happen, right? So and Allah by the way in our language means God. And if you don't believe in God you should. There you go. She said it here for first, folks. <laughs> so you're Muslim? I'm Muslim. Yeah, and you're proud. I'm proud that I'm Muslim. Yeah, me too. I'm very proud. And do you pray with, do you pray sometimes? I pray. You used to pray a lot when you were little with your <laughs> grandma and your grandpa. Ali Hamo. Ali Hamo. He was the best, right? Ali Hamo. Ali Hamo, um, yeah. Yeah. You said it right. That's why I didn't correct you. You did a good job. You speak Arabic? Tell me some words. Um, salamu alaikum. Salamu alaikum. Which, what does that mean? That means hi. It means hello. Like when you walk into a room and you say, salamu alaikum, what do they what, say? They say, alaikum wa salam. Good job, Zara. What other Arabic words do you know? Um, um, I know <laughs> ones that's like, Sometimes when I like hurt myself, I do. Oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, like, oh, you're gonna show I was us. Walking and I like, I oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You disappeared off the camera. So you say, oh, so you know, salamu alaikum. Yeah. You know, oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> What else do you know? Um. You forgot alaykum salam. Wa alaykum salam. Sorry, my bad. That's three. three words. Yeah, what else? Um, yalla. Yalla means? Hurry. Yeah, like. Like. What, mama says it all the time. Yalla, yalla, it's hara, yalla. 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 Right? <laughs> what else? Um, Man, you know a lot of words. What else do you know? Um, I know, yeah, Alayna. Yeah, Alayna. Like, oh my gosh. Oh my God. When you make a mistake, you're like, yeah, <laughs> Alayna. <laughs> so what, say that again. You know again? what my grandma always does? What? Yeah, Alayna. Yeah, Alayna. I think all grandmas and moms and dads and grandpas say it. Even my dad says it. My, says, my dad says it like this. Yee, Alayna. <laughs> Try it. Let's do it together. Ready? One, two, three. Yee, Alayna. <laughs> that was oh. fun. Give me a high five. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> What's the thing that we were going to do together on camera? Come here. Come, remember? Yeah. Ready? Come close. We're going to do our little handshake here. Kifik! <laughs> you want to explain to them on the microphone here what kifik means? Explain to them what kifik means. Kifik means. Kifik means. Um. Like, hi! Like, like, in fancy, like, not fancy, but like, I would say, like, kind of fancy. Well, we make it fancy. We like, make it. Kifik. Fancy. Kifik like, means how are you? How are you? Yeah. Kifik to a girl means how are you? Yeah, and so you hold their hand, you kiss them three times on their cheeks, like, like pretend this is like how many my times? Friend. How many times? Three. Three times. Like, she used the microphone as somebody's face. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> That's so smart. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> That's really creative. Yeah. What else did you want to talk about? Is there anything that you want? You, you, you know what, Zara? Yeah. It's just me and you in here. You I can, know. You can talk about anything and everything. This is your show. So you can say whatever you want to me right now. And, and, and nobody's going to stop you. Okay. Now I'm going to ask you a question. Oh, okay. Here we go. You're going to ask me questions. And it's kind of hard. Okay.
Okay. How much colors are in the rainbow? Ooh. The whole rainbow, including brown, white, and black. I think it's seven. Let's count. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink, white, orange. No. <laughs> Let's start all over again. Let me look it up. Okay. Wait. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Are all your friends in school nice? Not all. Oh. Why not? Do you see a bit of red here? Yeah. This girl at school, she took her shoe and she threw it at me. Why? I'm not trying to be rude to you if you're going to watch this, but I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay, what happened? She took her shoe off and she threw it at my eye. But why? I don't know. Was she upset with you? I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. Did it hurt you? Um, Did you cry? A bit, yeah. Did she say sorry? Um, I didn't hear her, but I only heard her say it once. Like, like sore. So she, she just said sore. sore. Oh, okay. Maybe she was scared? Maybe no, she, she was scared that no, she, she heard you? No, she did it loudly, like sore. Let's send, let's send a message to all the kids at schools. To be kind. I have 19 only. kids. No. In your class? So what kind of message do you send? want to send to all the kids around the world? Um, I want to send the people that don't have money and stuff. I am really sorry for that. But the kids in my class. So I'm saying you guys have to be more respectful to your other friends. Right. And it's and it's a must because somebody's feelings can get seriously hurt. Yeah. Right. That you don't becomes... you don't want to see your friend cry because that's not nice. No. It? And when other people see it, they want to cry. Exactly. So what do you? So what do you do if you saw a friend crying? What do you do? I would walk over to them and say, "Are you okay? What happened?" And they will explain to me. I'll just give them a hug. That's so nice of you, Zara. You're a good friend. And, and I would just tell the teacher. Right. And, 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 and if you saw something wrong, you obviously tell the teacher. Yeah, and my teacher been talking about, um, like, if someone gets hurt, don't be rude to my, don't be rude to my, them again. Um, don't be, like, rude to them again. Right. Yeah. Like, so if someone's crying... Then you come up to them and say, why are you crying like a baby? Stop it. You're not a baby. You're literally in grade one. Like, why are you acting like a baby? Just go away. People say that? Yeah. That's not nice. I know that's not. And, and what do you think? What do you have to say to everybody? I have to say, please stop being rude. Respect, Be respectful to other friends. Right. And... The other friends that have been, like, the other friends that have been hurt by people, I'm so sorry. That's very what nice. What they of you. did. I'm so. That's so nice of you to say sorry for all the friends around the world that are dealing with people maybe who are picking on them, right? Yeah. It's not nice. And that's why we have people like you, friends like you, who are there for those friends that need them, right? Tell me all the nice things about your brother. He kisses me. Can you sing me a song? Uh, what song? Anything. This microphone makes your voice sound really nice. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Can't hold it back anymore. Let it go. Let it go. In the wind, it's still your soul. I can't hear the things that you say. Let the storm rage on. The cold never bothered me anyway. Wow. I didn't even know you could sing. That's another talent. Sarah, why um, have you been hiding this voice? Does Mama and Baba know that you can sing? 
Yeah. Oh my god, now the whole world is gonna find out that you can no! see. What do people think I'm showing off? I'm not showing off. You're not showing off, no. <clears throat> Nobody's gonna think you're showing off. You were just singing. Yeah, because you told me to. Yeah, you're very humble. Do you know what humble means? I'm not trying to show off, but <laughs> this much. is my voice. Yeah. Like, it's beautiful. That's how we sing. The mic, just like she said, the mic makes my voice better. Well, I mean, I mean, your voice really did sound really good without the microphone making it sound better. Like, well, I, I had the like, microphone Like, you on. shocked me. Like, I didn't expect that voice to come out of you. <sighs> like, you did not sing, tell sing, me. Sing, 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 Mashallah, mashallah. No. Sing, tinkle, tinkle. You want me to sing? Yeah, please. All right, here we go. Just for the people. All right, I got you. <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are Up above the world so high Like a diamond in the sky Twinkle, twinkle, little star How I wonder what you are Whoa! We just made a remix, ladies and gentlemen. What? Woo! Zara, that was too good. <laughs> what just happened? I know. I know. From all that singing, I think we should take a water break. All right. Okay, you're right. <laughs> we should drink it where the microphone is to make the ASMR sounds. Yeah, should we do it? Do you, you know how to do ASMR? Okay, ready? How do you know what ASMR is? How does she? How do you know what ASMR is? I I saw it on YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, YouTube. Okay, Zara, you're. What are you not good at? Um, gymnastics. You are good at gymnastics. You're in gymnastics. No. Yeah, not you anymore. are. Not anymore, but you were. I mean, I I'm, were. I'm pretty sure you can do the splits and I can't. Splits and cartwheel. <laughs> Challenge accepted. Okay, hey, we're going to play a game. Uh, this is Zara's idea. Let's go. What's the scariest plant in the forest? I don't know. Bamboo. You got a heart. <laughs> Why didn't the skeleton cross the road? Oh, no. Because it didn't have the guts to. Get it? It's only bones. It has no guts. now so guys this it's was the end <laughs> it's the end this is zara so everyone thank you zara for coming on my show as my first ever guest i had so much fun with you i hope you had fun are other people coming here to do it yeah there's gonna be other guests too other kids as well so you get to watch their videos too so make sure you tell them what to do on my channel what are you gonna tell them to do um what does everybody <laughs> What does everybody tell them to... What should... <laughs> like and subscribe and make sure you hit the bell button. Yeah. Actually... Hit the bell button. Smash it. Smash the bell button. Oh, you know what? Press it in with your pinky in five, four, three, two... One. If you pressed it, good job. So, guys, that's the end. Just like Zara said, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button to get notifications. Yep. Thank you so much for being my first guest. I love you, Zara. You're the cutest, and I'm so proud of you and everything you're doing in your life, and you're such a great big sister, and I know she helps Mama Baba at home lots, and... um
Yeah, and inshallah, you're going to come back on the show soon again, okay? Yeah. Thank you so much. Love you. Love you. And for the kids out there, um, I hope you have a good day. And the kids that don't have money and stuff, once again, hope you have a good day. Um, and bye. Bye.